Nowadays, code generation is the most effective process to extract the highest amount of energy from the fuel in a code generation system, and its use increases the overall efficiency of power generation systems. This technology allows the reuse of waste heat from a turbine to generate steam, which can afterward be used for space heating and cooling, as well as for various industrial and household processes. Even though cogeneration systems have a higher initial cost than traditional power plants, the savings obtained due to the increment in the efficiency make these systems more attractive to be used in industrial and commercial applications. To calculate the overall efficiency of traditional power plants, we must combine the efficiencies of the boiler, turbine, and generator. For the boiler, this is calculated by how much of the chemical energy stored in the fuel is converted into thermal energy in the steam. The steam is then routed into a turbine. For the turbine, the efficiency is determined by how much of the thermal energy in the steam is converted into mechanical energy by spinning the turbine. Afterward, the efficiency of the generator, which is driven by the turbine, is obtained by how much of the mechanical energy is converted into electrical. Finally, the overall efficiency of the process can be determined by how much of the chemical energy stored in the fuel is converted into electrical energy. By using a standard efficiency values of boilers, turbines, and generators, it is possible to calculate, as an example, the overall efficiency in traditional power plants. Typically, natural gas boilers has efficiency values around 89%, turbines 41%, and generators 98%. At the end, this gives an overall system efficiency of 35.76%. As we can see, most of the energy is lost in the turbine, where a significant amount of the thermal heat stored in the steam is thrown away to the atmosphere by using cooling tower systems. Recently, different cogeneration technologies are used to increase the overall efficiency of power systems by the reuse of thermal energy that would otherwise be lost. One of the most common cogeneration systems is based on the substitution of steam turbines with natural gas turbines. This change in technology allows you to improve the efficiency of the system significantly, reducing fuel consumption and therefore saving money and releasing fewer greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. In a cogeneration system, efficiency is calculated by adding the useful output of a system and dividing by the energy in the fuel that is input. By the use of this technology, outputs include not only the electricity generated, but also the remaining heat that is used to produce steam, typically in a heat recovery steam generator. To calculate the efficiency, we can use a case of a study with a system that generates 3.5 megawatts of electricity and 18 million BTU hours of steam using 40 million BTU hours of natural gas. As a result, it is possible to determine an overall efficiency of 75%, which represents a considerable increment compared to traditional power plants efficiencies. To evaluate a real application and learn a bit more about it, we spoke with Mitch Lampley, the Director of Engineering and Technical Support at Vanderbilt University Power Plant. Uh, there's a couple of reasons. The major reason was our students, that they were um, pushing us to get rid of coal to go to, a, to a, a, more, a cleaner burning fuel. So we looked at the different options and decided to increase our cogeneration plant and remove coal from campus at that time. Originally, we thought it would cost us money to actually uh, move from coal to natural gas because of the cost of coal at the time. Um, it turned out the estimate, original estimates we'd save about $3 million a year uh, with the current gas prices. Uh, since then, the gas prices have actually gone down, so we're actually seeing over $3 million a year um, savings each year.
The, for our reduction when we switch from coal to natural gas, we saw about a 98% reduction in, um, in our nitrogen dioxide. We saw about a 75% reduction. Uh, mercury reduction, HCL all were at 100% reduction. We actually saw particulate uh, matter go down about 50% and our carbon monoxide go down in 10 to 15%. Cogeneration may be an old concept, but work is still being done to improve it to reduce emissions further and increase efficiency for a more modern, less centralized system. New to the market are commercially available microturbine systems. Due to recent innovations in manufacturing design, a turbine system complete with cogeneration capabilities can be produced in a size and price point that makes it a viable option for households and small commercial organizations. These systems allow for high efficiency power generation to be done with little infrastructure, which will increase the worldwide availability of electricity and do away with many of the energy losses and inefficiencies associated with distributing power across large distances.